Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. I do apologize for the delay, but I'm back. I miss y'all. Hi Aqua. Um, if you're new here, I'm Amber, welcome. And if you're returning, you already know what it is. You know what I mean? I love y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you love me too, okay? <laughs> um, I honestly, right before I turn on the camera, I start feeling like that little baby on Instagram. I don't know if anybody ever seen that viral video when the little baby is like laying on her dad or something. She like, do you love me? You love me? Do you love me? Do you <laughs> and I'm like, I start feeling like that as far as like Aquarius goes. I don't know if there's somebody else that like maybe has this like childlike energy or maybe there's a child that is of some sort of significance about this situation that I'm about to read into, but I thought it was so cute. And um, I do feel like somebody's very lighthearted about you. Now, on another note, <laughs> earlier in the morning and honestly all day yesterday, because I tried to do your reading yesterday, um, it definitely feels like somebody has an abundance of audacity. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, a lot of you guys may be experiencing some challenges in the home life. For others of you, it's the family. But I very much so get 11th house. Meaning community, tribe, um, <clears throat> group efforts, right? Or group endeavors, group startups, whatever the case may be. It could be a business, right? That includes like a group or something like that. But yeah somebody has an abundance of audacity um and there's somebody else that's like but do you love me <laughs> okay aquarius we're gonna go ahead and get into it um i have been away from the spread from for so long i have no idea what i was even doing for the other signs so we're gonna start off kick it off fresh um but yeah, Holy Spirit, guardian angels, my beloved, beloved ancestors, thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to give messages to Aquarius for their highest good and their highest good only. Other thing, sorry, one other thing. If you want to book a personal reading, of course, you can do that on my website at unveiledbyamber.com. But also there will be an extended to this reading. So if you want to check out the extended, the link is down below in the description box. Okay. Okay. All right. I want to start with these. Oh, I kind of know what I was doing now. Oh, but I think I took some, I put some of the other cards away. Okay, so, Spirit, what's the energy for Aquarius? Show me the energy surrounding their current situation, please. Aqua. Ooh, yeah, so you have soul work here in reverse. I don't know. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're done. Mm -hmm. Look, ask body. Yeah, no, you asked your body and your body said you're done. Yeah, for sure. And this says, these other two cards that you have here is uh, self-love, the peacock. And then you have higher perspective. Yeah, so, I don't know, I just feel like you kind of took the high road on something or someone. That's pretty fucking clear here. Um, so far, I get fire. You could have released an earth sign. And you could be coming in a connection with a another air sign or a fire sign. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like when I'm looking at this ask body and this higher perspective card, it's giving me as above, so below. If you look at the jaguar, the tiger, whatever the case may be, it has an eye sitting at the crown. And then this higher perspective, the eye... It almost mimics what we're seeing on top of the Jaguar. So that's pretty interesting. Um, honestly, what I get is that you've removed yourself from a situation with this ask body. It's like you asked your body and your body said, no, we're done. There's no more work here. Okay, you've done all that you can as far as working on yourself to better it, the outcome of a situation with a person, place, thing, or whatever the case may be. Um, yeah, so then to see like the wings, I think that you've come to some type of conclusion that the only, re the only like reasonable, um, action to take was to leave or to separate yourself from something or someone. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, you have the wilding, which is a two of swords type of energy. So, mm -hmm. 
And then you have play on the top of the deck, which for me as a reader with this deck of cards, it always gives me 10 of cups. So I just feel like you, yeah, I just feel like you made a decision to be happy. I feel like it is going to cause some type of chaos or it already did. I'll be honest with y'all. When I first, first, first wanted to do you guys reading with all the rest of the signs, um, it felt like it was a big ass family debacle going on. Um, yeah. And it's been, I'm trying to remember, but I don't know. I, I, maybe that's for a reason that I'm not completely, completely remembering it. Okay. Let's see what the influence is. Spirit, tell me a little bit more about this being here for Aqua. The seventh house. Absolutely, this is about your relationships. Absolutely, this is about intimacy. This is about democracy. This is about being able to make something work with a person, compromising, sacrificing, or not. Right? That's definitely here. Um... This could also be about friendships, so guys, it does not necessarily have to be intimate, although it feels like it is. Um, but you, yeah, see, I knew it. It's something about your 11th house, Aquarius. Some of y'all have Aquarius in the 11th house or the first house, so you're experiencing this on a very intensified um and in a very intensified fashion like they're just being a debacle with the people around you or whatever the case may be but see this goes back to this like see how it's like an astronaut out here i don't know it's like that's the person that maybe has some type of abundance of uh audacity um and then but there's a connection here okay so the 11th house is about being on the edge as well Okay, it can be very experimental. Um, it could be rebellious, Aquarius. Um, it's about our tribe. It could be about festivals, um, gatherings, right? Spring break. That would definitely be a thing because everybody's going, right? Yeah. Um, there's something that I may, either you or somebody else thought that it was way, way, way out in the future, like expecting a friendship or expecting like a goal to come into the 3D, like some, some, like some business that you guys were working on or, or a project that you were working on, something you were building or creating, um, a bond with a person, a relationship or whatever, because this is a sense of community overall. That's always the strongest energy that I get off of the 11th house. Whatever it is, somebody thought that the end goal or the end game or the end result was way, way, way down the line. Hell no. Mm -mm. No, it's right here. Sixth house with opportunity. Absolutely, somebody called this in. This is the Virgo energy with the sixth house. Or somebody seen an opportunity and decided to take it. And somebody, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. You got Jupiter, Venus, and the fourth house. Aquarius, what is this? Okay, look, what was that around December or January or something? It seemed like you were asking somebody something and you weren't anticipating them to say yes, but they do. This seems like a lot of you guys already asked the question and this is the result of it absolutely see you have cancer here fourth house energy the mom the mother but it overall it's a very uh emotional type of vibration between two people i just keep seeing a couple here i just keep seeing two people uh tell me one more thing about this energy for aquarius these cards came back out y'all the sixth house is out here in sagittarius and then, so see, Sagittarius and Gemini are one and seven. I don't know why I feel like, too, that some of y'all have found a partner or you will be meeting a partner that shares common, like, like a social, like, I don't know why I'm hearing, like, social agenda. What do I mean by that? I don't know what they mean by I mean, they said that they have the same social agenda. So like, okay, 
if you guys aspire to be politicians, this person does too. If you um, aspire to go to the moon, they do too. If you aspire to, you know, start living a more like green lifestyle or healthier, having a healthier diet or whatever, it's in alignment. Okay, so this and you, you and this person are definitely in some sense of alignment, but there's somebody else around. It's bugging me too. Tell me a little bit more about this being here for Aquarius. With higher perspective, what is the higher perspective, Spirit? What is the higher perspective that's been gained as it relates to the situation for Aquarius? I honor. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we'll definitely take that. And then you have a child here on the bottom of the deck. Something about this high honor is brand new. It's a job title that you never had. It's a class in school about a topic you've never learned or never, you know, explored or something. Oh, boy. Let's see on the bottom of the deck, you have despair and you have imprisonment. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like this is the person who has an abundance of audacity. But that's about all they got abundant. Just saying. Um, tell me a little bit more about where this is headed with Ask Body and Self Love. Some of you guys, it could be a time of, um, if you haven't been like sexually active or physical with anybody, that could be coming into the forefront. Some of you guys, it's the opposite. You're going to be abstaining. <laughs> uh, distant Horizons gift journey and poverty i don't know why i feel like you're helping someone go on their way <laughs> i don't mean that in a good way either <laughs> i do not mean that in a good way i mean like you helping them to pack their bags and they didn't have no intentions to leave type of thing so you have distant horizons here with a gift and it's like here i pay i made you a sandwich right before you leave <laughs> and don't come back um or it's an energy of like, this person hasn't been around for a while, they come back around, they try to use their key to your house, to your heart, or whatever the case may be, and they find out that their key does not work anymore. So they have this long journey, long like trek back to their reality. Whatever this reality is, they created it for themselves. Tell me one more thing about it. Tell me one more thing about this situation here for Aquarius. Tell me one more thing about this spirit. You have occupation that came out here. And this is marriage. Interesting. Yeah, I'm telling you. See, because you're occupied with something or someone. These fell like on two different sides of the table. Somebody that you would like to be in a relationship with might be really occupied. Like, might be very busy um, wrapping something up, finishing something up. Because if you look here, she is, um, you know, like sewing or whatever. Your person could be in the fashion industry. This could be a tailor, right? They are, oh, okay, is that somebody's name? Somebody's name could be Taylor first or last, I heard. But she gives me, like, a um, seamstress. This could be someone who... You know, like, does, like, clothing alterations? Why Why does that keep coming up, though? Is something with, like, clothing? I don't know if this wardrobe changed. But with marriage here, like, this could literally be somebody's dress being sewn for their wedding or something like that. Uh, this marriage card, too, is also very much so indicative of a springtime wedding. So this could be taking place right now or here very, very shortly. This card is also a representation of three months waiting. So either, I don't know why I feel like this like kind of started or kicked up three months ago, but it's it's like coming to fruition or like something about the details. Because then again, like this sixth house is a Virgo energy and she that's what she's doing. She's tending to the details. So something about the details of things. Trust your body. And um, some of you guys need to take a break. 
when your body tells you to do so. Like I did. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this marriage card over here to the side. It feels like it's something you're trying to either keep separate, you're trying to protect someone, or someone's trying to protect you, or something like that. I don't know. Show me the energy surrounding Aquarius relationship spirit with seventh house being here. Show me the energy surrounding their relationship ships. That was the high priestess that hit the ground. So I do believe that I'm right. And then you have the magician here in the sun. Again, asking body and deciding, yeah, no, I'm good. Hold on. Yeah, that was the high priestess that hit the ground. I'm going to ask one more time. Tell me, show me one more thing about this energy. Yeah, the devil, you dodged a bullet. With something or with someone, you dodged a bullet. And there's something about like, like having some type of honor as a result of it. Like being recognized for taking a higher road on something. I don't know. I don't know. Or it was an energy of like when this third party or this ex-lover or whatever the case may be. Hell yeah. And I know I'm, no, I'm right. Because look, what I was about to say is while the, when you're about to come into some type of like union, marriage, matrimony, whatever the case may be. This could even just be peace and harmony within your household. Like finally getting your house in order or whatever the case may be. You're finally like... um you know, like if you work in an industry where like springtime is a really like, like important time, right? Like who, who would that be? Like people in gardening, right? Like places like Home Depot and stuff like that, right? Um, construction workers and things of that nature, especially fashion designers, of course, right? The spring is pretty big. Um, but there is this energy of like finally finding some type of harmony, feeling like you came through a cycle and that you were ready to reap rewards. And here come this motherfucker. Here, here come this person with an abundance of audacity. And I feel like maybe in the past you entertained it or, you know, exerted or established your boundaries with this person, but also spent time like reiterating or trying to get them to understand your boundaries are even trying to justify your boundaries. You don't need to justify nothing for no one. Um, and I think, I feel like you're coming to that realization here now. Yeah, because even like with this devil card, like look how envious this person looked. And you dodged a bullet. Look at the bullet and went right on over. Yeah, I just really feel like there's something about a relationship that somebody thought maybe they could stop. Mm -mm. No, no, no. <laughs> Isn't that always the cutest when somebody think they got a little power? <laughs> um, Spirit, tell me where this situation is headed. Strength, you will. You will be victorious. Look at how comfortable this lion looks. Not only that, but it looks like the, a clean slate. Like there's not any flowers growing in the back. Like this is that energy. I don't know why I smell. I start smelling fresh cut grass. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I am, um, for those of you who don't know, I am clairaudient. I'm clairvoyant. I'm clairsentient. I can smell things. I hear things. I see things. <laughs> but I literally got like a whiff. My bad. It smelled great. <laughs> I got a whiff of uh, fresh cut grass. But it feels like it's coming up as like a clean slate. Yes, because look what's underneath this externally. Look at the empress. And this grass need to be cut over here. <laughs> oh, I can't make this up. It's the emperor right underneath that. And then justice. I don't know. I just feel like this is you. This this will be an expression of like your boundaries. I don't know. Some of y'all like you have children with someone or something like that. And it's like every time you're about to have some type of breakthrough at work or a breakthrough in your relationship or something like that is like, here comes this person. What the hell is going on here in this card? Because I really can't tell if it's spring or fall. You got leaves that are falling off down here. It looks like spring down here. Kind of look like it's a summer situation going on in the background. Like what the? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take 
all of these actually what are we at 19 minutes yes so i want to read the strength card for you and then i'm just gonna figure out how you view this empress what you can expect because it seems like it is pretty significant okay you're clearly coming into a union with someone Okay, so this, uh, for those of you that are interested, this is the, the Twin Tarot Oracle, and it has two versions of each card in it. So I have the, you have the light version of strength here, but this is not the right version of the Empress. This is the dark version of the Empress. I think that this is the light version of the Emperor, because the other one, like, he looks angry, he looks upset, he looks mad, or whatever the case may be. Uh -uh. I feel like you got your way or something like that, or you will have your way with something. Okay. So strength. Strength. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like you finally found the strength, honestly, to push somebody away. Okay. The dark. No, the light one. Okay, it says, loving myself, lion, warts, and all, gives me strength to be brave and forceful. I didn't appreciate that. Okay. <laughs> um, it says, self-love, emotional strength, mental courage, inner tranquility, and compassion, as well as tolerance, are all embodied in this card. It says, from a psychological perspective... The lion can denote our base instincts, our spontaneous reactions and inherent fears, frights, and phobias. If unchecked, its dominating, demanding ways take over the personality. If totally repressed, the personality is weak, spineless. The maiden in the light strength card represents pure, serene, higher part of our being that understands and so is able to subdue the lion with love and compassion and choosing this card it seems you two have tamed your inner lion no longer needing to fight to repress its spontaneous outburst or deal with the fallout of its rages it says that you have harnessed its power and energy channeling them to where when and how they can be used most effectively knowing you can remain uncontrolled i'm sorry knowing you can remain controlled yeah but see that felt like i was supposed to say it the way i said it because <laughs> i feel like somebody's been trying to control you yeah okay let me let me read it again i'm gonna read it how it's here okay it says, knowing you can remain controlled and predictable in most situations gives you confidence and trust in yourself and in your ability to succeed at any project that you're presently starting or striving to complete. Your fortitude will enable you to overcome any obstacles, uncertainties, and stresses you may encounter along the way. This strength card asks that you always remember you achieved this inner strength by being gentle, kind, and loving to yourself, to your lion within. Hopefully, the effort involved has also made you more compassionate and forgiving of others' faults and imperfections. It has certainly earned you their respect. The dignity that is now part of your being may be their inspiration. The inner tranquility is yours to enjoy i like this because <laughs> what did i say like ain't it always cute when somebody think they got a little power <laughs> so they try to exert it over a powerful motherfucker. Oh, okay <laughs> the key phrases uh associated with this strength card you guys let me show it to you one more time i just really like the demeanor of this lion on here because he is powerful but he doesn't need to exert himself or show that, okay? Um, it says overcoming your base instincts. It says moderating personal excesses gently and holistically. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's like somebody who has the same social agenda. Like you could have been dating someone who loves to eat fucking fried chicken every day of the week, but you really want to be pescatarian. Not going to work. <laughs> 
It says, uh, this also, the key phrases are also loving and respecting self and others. It says, having the courage of your convictions and taking responsibility for your actions. It also says that there is a triumph of love over hate. Hell yeah. Okay. So, hmm. I think I want to use the crystal deck. Show me the energy of this emperor. I think that this is you. If I could be honest. Show me the energy of this emperor. <laughs> Y'all. It's diamond. Oh, alrighty. I I really like want to put this back. Like not because I don't think that it, it is appropriate, but there's a whole other like stack of cards here. Another stack fell down here, which is obsidian. Okay, so this one says shine your brightest. All right. Um. I mean, it's self-explanatory. It's a damn diamond. <laughs> it says it's set in engagement rings, tiaras, and iced out chains. This girl's best brand of gemstones is the hardest naturally occurring material on planet Earth. Diamonds are more than just status symbols encrusted on the rich. Their radiant energy clears away spiritual cloud cover so you can bask in the purest light. Okay, this is supposed to be out here. Man, when I tell y'all, like, I don't know who y'all were dealing with prior to, but they, it's like day and night. Okay, so this other card that, I'm going to explain what I mean in a moment. This other card that fell out here is Obsidian, which its key phrase at the bottom is protect your soul. I feel like it's from this person. This empress energy, possibly someone who you have children with. Of course, it could be a Taurus, a Libra. I get Aries, and I know y'all probably like, not nah, on. -uh, this is my channel, okay? It's a fucking rabbit right there. It's Aries season. Be a Taurus, a Libra, a Aries. Um, but anyway, this says protect your soul. It says, uh, and see how I look back at this empress, right? Or you are the empress that needs to protect your soul from this emperor energy. It's one or the other. But I do know that somebody dodged a bullet as far as like staying away from their karmic partner or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Okay. So this says uh, obsidian is a black volcanic glass before the internet, before AI, before kid, kitten, food delivering drones like way back early homo sapiens we're getting it done with obsidian tools capable of holding an extremely sharp edge. Obsidian scalpels are used in surgeries today. It says, who needs it? Anyone looking to cut out negative people and patterns from their lives, also Scorpios. It says, where to put it in your pocket like a concealed weapon against bad vibes. When to use it when thinking positively seems out of the question. When dark forces are at work, it says dig in and arm yourself with obsidian and throttle back. Yeah, I don't know, Aquarius. Some of y'all may not be feeling the safest. Um, and when I say the safest, like, I don't know. It just feels like y'all have been in a relationship with something or someone that has been, like, taunting you. You know, like, yes, this card is a representation of high honor, but... I feel like this person has really been poking the bear, like really, really trying to provoke you. Uh, I don't feel like it's worked at this point. Um, I want to finish reading this diamond card. It says, who needs it? Who doesn't? And it says where to put it, wherever you'd like to bling, when to use it, when you just got to keep it icy, when you want to make your intentions perfectly clear, or when it's time to beam your own unique light through the darkness for all to see. It says own it with diamond. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like maybe you, you don't feel like you can trust. There's somebody around you who you don't feel like you can trust. Then this say increase your firepower. I don't know what this is about. Tell me one more thing. Rotochrosite. It says to soften your heart. Okay, so some of y'all, that is like literally what, yeah, okay. It's because it's a result. This, this is trauma. 
That's what this is. It's trauma. Uh -huh. Somebody has caused you some type of trauma. To be real with you, it could have been like quite literally a marriage, a union, a connection. It could have something to do with last spring, three years ago, three months ago. For That was weird. They just said three life cycles ago. So some of y'all have a karmic partner that you've been doing this with for a while. I feel like the cycle is coming to an end though. There's, I don't know why I feel like this person had an opportunity to come back into this life cycle and do right by you, but they decided not to. Because see, I'm looking at this emperor, but I'm looking at the window. It's like they have an opportunity or they had an opportunity, right? Well, this is what's through the window with the fresh cut grass. But somebody seems like they missed out. Yeah, it's like somebody missed out. And then what type of shit is this, Emperor? I don't. I'm not talking to you, Aquarius. And it could maybe I am. It could be for the cross watcher, but yeah, no, thank you. You ain't even gonna cut the grass. You need to stay your ass where you at. <laughs> don't come over here if you ain't finna. Uh, -uh no, 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 no. We good. <laughs> no, we good. Okay. Um. Spirit, can you show me the energy of Aquarius relationship moving forward? And then we're going to get into the extended. Justice. Okay. Justice. So, looks like you're going to be having a decision to make between two people. We're going to find out exactly who or what this is about. <laughs> Sorry, I had to look. <laughs> We're going to look into this in the extended. So if you're going with me, then let's roll. For those of you that this brought you enough clarity, that's amazing. I love y'all. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.